Hello, Polytopians. Thanks for tuning into the Polytopian Times. I'm your host, Sam, and uh, today we are going to have ourselves a fun little match. I want to show off the new improved AI uh, cloaks and daggers with the new diplomacy update about to release in two weeks, and, uh, well, how that update is going to look. So, let's uh, dive right on into it. Um, well... As you should always do with Imperius, I'm going to go with a turn zero level up just so I can get myself a workshop for that extra economic output early on in the game. And uh, I've got ruins, although I can't easily walk on them. I'm not sure. You know, I don't... Generally, the warrior is better, but, uh, you know, in this case, I'm actually going with climbing because it means I can get the ruins and it'll help me explore a little better. But I'm assuming the ruins will probably be enough to pay it off. In the long run. We shall see, though. Ah, we immediately got a payoff there. Very nice, very nice. And there's another mountain to climb. So I'm going to make that work for me. Um, well, it is the diplomacy beta, so let's go and get ourselves some diplomatic techs early on. And... I'm going to hold off on buying another tech till I can see what the situation around the next village is. Lots of fruit, so I don't really need to worry too much, although fishing. Um, it is a lakes map, so there's a good chance I am going to be in an early naval conflict with Kiku, but I do have some land borders here. I'm going to go with diplomacy instead early on. Like I said, I want to be playing around with the... Uh, New stuff in the update, after all. Okay, and we've run into Umaji over here with their rider. And Kiku. So, we're probably going to be fighting Umaji. I don't think Kiku's going to be here in time to really mess with us too much. So let's show off some of the fun diplomacy features. So here we are with Kiku. I have, with uh, strategy, the ability to offer a peace treaty. Um, not that I'd want to do it in this particular case. Or I could build an embassy for five stars, and what that embassy does is give me two stars per turn back. In fact, you know what? We're going to be fighting Umaji likely anyways, so we'll wait on Kiku, and I'm going to establish an embassy. Now, uh, that's going to give us, both of us, two stars per turn, and that income will be doubled if uh, we have a peace treaty, which I could send just after this, making it four stars per turn. And that's just for my embassy. If they were to establish an embassy in my capital... That would also give us two stars per turn if we had the peace treaty, four stars per turn, meaning uh, if we each had an embassy in each other's capitals, you would be giving each other eight stars per turn, which is rather nice income. Uh, really very useful in team games, and uh, if you want to change up an FFA a little bit. And here we go, now I get to see the borders around my uh, new embassy over here. And, uh, you know, I'm just going to send a peace treaty their way early on. Definitely a good play, since Umaji really can't do anything about that. And, um, hmm. I really can't see anything that way, and I think it's a bit foolish to push too hard. I do, after all, need riding and roads. So let's get those out of the way really quick, and I'll get a rider out instead. Ah, pity that. However, that uh, embassy is still in place, and we can see that extra income is still there. Cool, cool, cool. Cool beans. going to keep trying to uh, promote some more economic growth within my borders here. Um, this is going to be a tougher situation over by Piccolo, but uh, we'll be able to get things done with a road all the same. And I'll line up for that next turn. Yep, saw that coming, but I did not want to lose the village. At the end of the day, that is much more important. And now the situation is looking a little better. We'll get a defender pushed up to the front line and a cloak running up in the rear. And, okay, we've got ourselves a nice choke point over here. Pity we are out of income already, but uh, 
Not the biggest problem in the world, honestly. Definitely something we can just work around. Um, hmm. Now that's more fun. I think it's best if I hold back here. Okay. I have a plan. Um, and here we go, exploring. Lots of good vision. I can uh, and see plenty there, but not really anything else to do. Oh, let's see. They're not going to actually accept my lines if I still have a unit in their border, so I'm going to wander off. I think hopefully that will cool their jets a little bit. And uh, I should probably show you how I know this to be the case, I come to think of it. So, let's pop on over to Kiku and take a look at our relationship. So, uh, Nuko is their ruler. We are neutral, technically. I am making two stars per turn with my embassy. However, um, while they do think I am diplomatic because of that embassy, they still think I'm threatening because I have military units near their territory, actually in their territory, and uh, weak because I really don't have much of a military. That'll change soon enough, though, especially as I begin to expand. But, um, you know, totally understand where they're coming from in this assessment for the moment. Okay, we are going to just sit on that. Yep, okay. Well, there goes the embassy, and we are at war. Don't take that sitting down. Oh, very interesting. So they've walled me off entirely. Hmm. Not wonderful. Not a lot I can do about this situation. <laughs> um, not a lot my cloak can do here. I also can't go back around and get into our Kiku capital over here, unfortunately. It's um, a bit out of the way at this moment. I could get close, but uh, not all the way in. Like, it might be worth pushing for it, though. Change of plans. And we can always use ourselves a rider that's uh, just a generically good unit to have. And I'll take myself a warrior so I can do some damage here. Alright, I think we're going to sit on this. I want that defender to stay as a plug in the north. Ooh, a battleship already. So yes, the latest crazy AI does in fact understand naval warfare uh, to a far better degree now, and uh, they do indeed build battleships all their own, which is uh, well, quite a threat. Um, unfortunately, I can't mash this one. So I suppose I'm going to have to let it breathe for a little bit, let it live a bit longer. One, two, three, four... Wouldn't matter. I'm just short of being into Sino. Um, we'll sit on it, though. Make it work. We can definitely make it work. Then I'll need another rider back here. Hopefully we can get that pull off there. And let's nab fishing while we're sitting around. There's some extra economy sitting there. And, uh, well, we're going to need to get into a naval game anyways, since Kiku's definitely pushing for that. Yes, yeah, sir, duty. And again, we're going to leave that defender by Sumero in place as a plug. Yep. Right now, a knight would just come in and so handy, but it's, um... Rather impractical, all things considered. Seems like our Kiku friend is not doing, or doing rather well, hard to tell. I can see a Luxadorian city that I have uh, yet to have properly met, and that's on fire. <laughs> so, I don't think they're doing wonderful. But, uh, yeah, we did get to use that cloak, and he made us three daggers around the capital. Uh, Sino here. Not bad. Not bad at all. Let's push that uh, plug up a bit more. Hmm. How are we looking elsewhere? Okay. 
We might just have enough time to push for sailing because we definitely need it. Time to get some warrior boats in the water. Go off and explore, little friend. All right, and uh, well, there's another city we gotta QC here. Ah, let's see, I don't think I have anywhere near enough for us to get into Sino, unfortunately. Mm. Even with all my cloakies and that rider in reserve, it'd be, I think, a smidge too little, and I don't have a way to move this dagger without having to also move this defender, which has to stay in place to do the final killing blow at like one or two health points, if he can manage to pull it off at that point. Just a hair off. Unfortunate, though. Really unfortunate. Of course, uh, that is exactly what I would do when I am playing as uh, Kiku myself. Okay, and hold up. Let's see, what does Lonius think of me? Hey, relations are actually decent. Let's establish an embassy. Hey there, friend. And we can offer peace. We have pretty great relations now. I'm definitely not going to attack you. Okay, cool. Well, that could work out after all. I'm just going to get a little extra damage in while I'm sitting around here. Um, do, 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 do. Rider's not really going to do much else. Okay. So now we've pushed up the front lines outside of uh, this Umaji city, just plugged up this uh, peninsula here. Looks like Luxador got a rather unpleasant spawn, but uh, you know, that makes him in the market for a new ally, and uh, we are certainly happy to fill that role. And it is long overdue that we uh, turn to improving our economy, which has been kind of neglected to this point. Sorry, I just really wanted to show off all the diplomacy stuff, which um, cost stars and uh, definitely isn't in line with uh, optimizing your economic output to this point. So let's uh, play a little catch up here. Um, also, I do love cloaks and I want to make another cloak. And I think we'll hold after that. Oh, pity that about Luxador. We actually had pretty good relations there. I'm surprised. Probably me having a unit in their borders. Oh, but they've put down an embassy, and now I am out of your borders? Let's see. What do you think? Relations are great. We're maxed out. Still too close to their territory. I'm going to offer them peace, though. I mean, we are certainly making some good income off each other at this point, just being friends. Interesting. At this point, it's going to be a risk to move that uh, cloak any closer to um, Okizi or Sino. Um, just due to the way it's located here, situated. And uh, Luxador is definitely putting out some cloaks all their own. Things have certainly got rather interesting. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a dinghy boat. Yep. A cloak dinghy is great. It's invisible, and uh, it works exactly the same as a normal cloak, but uh, with the added predator-like ability of invisibility. Simple as that. And uh, we can definitely use another uh, port over here just to keep up some naval production, since we are finally capable 
And literally nothing else is happening in our territory right now. Let's see what Lux thinks. Hey, they accepted. So we have ourselves an ally. And I was hoping to show this off. Now you can see, we no longer have to worry about zone of control. Um, Luxador can move past my units with ease, and uh, I can move right past them. I could share their roads. If they had roads, they can use my road network just the same, too. It's pretty great, actually. All right, there we are, and I'm just going to nab that rune since nobody knows I am there doing it. And shazam! We have ourselves a ring of uh, daggers about to do some damage to Okizi. Um, let's see. I think we uh, ought to invest in navigation right now. Because I would like to nab those ruins before anyone else can. And in general, if I'm going to bother putting out naval forces, I do like making them out of defenders, as they're generally better units. We're not going to go too crazy. I want to keep this barricade up on this little uh, land bridge over here by Sumero. I do have enough star per turn, star income, to uh, whip up another unit. I'm just, uh, I suppose we could do a defender and then we'll make a road and a port next turn to allow that defender to uh, run off and embark. Get some naval production up across the board. There we go. Got some ruins and with some wonderful money in them. And uh, what do we get from these guys? Uh, nomadic tribe, not terrible. Definitely going to be able to... Uh, well, just laying down the port ought to be enough. Oh, I should have moved... Well, I got lucky. The defender moved in the right direction anyways. <laughs> but yeah, that was the only uh, real crapshoot portion of the uh, puzzle right there. Still not going to push on the Siege of Yadork this turn. Just uh, seeing as Kiku is so weak. Very vulnerable place. I think I can push them instead. Hmm. Actually, not enough. Yeah, I'd need to uh, have dominance of both of these spots. Okay. I'm still going to go up and on the mountainside here, and it, we'll, we'll keep weakening things in Okizi. But uh, that dagger's not going to be able to pull that off. Which is, again, that's fine. Um, thinking another port over here. Just need to decide on border growth or uh, population growth. I'm thinking we go pop growth. And then once we get another port down, we get another giant out here. Super unit will be super useful. And we're going to just sit on those monuments for now. Not a lot of use in mucking about with them otherwise. Okay. See you, Maji is at sea as well. Well, I did sit around on that excessively long, so not particularly surprised. Now well, let's see. We still might be able to pull something off here. There we are. And let's whip up a little bit more naval force. We are going to need to lay down a road first. There we are. Things are still a mess. Get a heal up over here. 
Now, well, let's see, we can make ourselves uh, another ship. That'll be useful. All right. And we are going to sit on that. Just barely survived the onslaught. And once I take this with the amount of naval force I have in the area now, I should be able to... Oh, well. Now there's no doubt in my mind that I'm going to be keeping this anyways. Ah, the real pity is... I'm going to be blocking up movement here. Uh, regardless, just because uh, there's no way to get in to kill this miserable boat. Oh. Ah, perfect. Well, we've uh, managed to squeeze through then. <laughs> Couldn't have asked for more. Um, take a pot shot here. There's got to be a village here, right? Yes. Okay. Of course they're going to be taking it. Uh, I can't blame the Luxador. And let's just break this stagnant little uh, stranglehold on Okisi. I am done in waiting on this conquest. There we go. That should be dealt with. And that defender's kind of pointless. I could use the population freed up in one of my cities. Most assuredly. All right. I'm just going to lock down some customs houses before we nab our next city, just to make sure we get them a little cheaper. It's going to be a naval fight no matter what, so we might as well be uh, as prepared as we can be for it. Especially since it appears it's going to be against Luxador, who will be a little more built up than uh, otherwise expected. Not the end of the world, though. Not by a long shot. Uh, to keep him busy. And, uh... Don't really have anywhere to move my giant. I guess I'll just leave him there blocking the, uh... <laughs> blocking the way for literally everything and everyone. Let's see. One, two, three. That's what I was thinking. Ooh, unfortunately not with five health. Not with five health. Although the uh, the battleship could have done. Unfortunate, but true. Still, we are going to take Dork one way or the other. That is assured. And I am most certainly going to have to fight Luxador. Pity about my giant, but uh, perhaps they'll be positioned to uh, engage in the fight in a more productive manner once it starts going. Might as well build up our naval forces while we are waiting around here, and an extra rider would be super useful as well. Lux, can you back off? Umaji is mine. They are greedy, that's for sure. Not long before they opt to start the war with me. That is a guarantee. Especially given how aggressive they've been over the last turn or two, which is not a super promising sign in the slightest. 
I mean, it's not super surprising, but it's still not promising. Let's just go ahead and grab ourselves our second defense bonus, since we know uh, conflict on land is almost certainly going to be a thing. Although, I would still like to also build up my naval forces, as I know I'm going to definitely be fighting at sea as well. And we'll keep some of those uh, a little bit distant. All right, well, six stars, no clear enemies to fight. We will wait a turn. And there we go. The Kiku Capital is mine, and we are down to just Luxador, our final crazy AI, the, uh, the last standing. And as you can see, they are quite a threat. They've got decent port networks. They've built up battleships to augment their invasion. They have cloaks ready to invade, and the scary thing is I now have to fight them if I'm to do anything else in this game. I am kind of stuck with this. I'm shoehorned into it, so to speak. Uh, I'm, yeah, this is going to be the best spot, isn't it? Which is to say there is no good spot for a customs house near Okisi. Um, Piccolo, we could pop a customs house down here. That'll give me two stars. One here would do it as well. It doesn't require me purchasing a tech. That is a clear customs house spot, as is the spot by Sumro. Bluff them out for a turn. Get a bunch of vision. Build up our techs. Build up our economy. Prepare for the upcoming fight, which is going to be brutal. And then execute on that once we are a go. Kind of just want to leave the giant there. A giant battleship would be great, but it would be also super useful to smash Lulo open. Um... I don't think they could do anything about that. So you'd need one star additional to get that up. So we're not going to be getting that level up just now. Don't really need a road network here. I don't think I have quite enough resources to level up any of these cities beyond uh, either Piccolo or I Okisi. I nope, Gate of Power. That is correct, Gate of Power. Uh, so no, I can't level up Okisi either. Piccolo it is. Besides, it'll build up the Customs House, which is always of benefit. And we are at 52 stars per turn. Good, good, good. And let's see, we'll sit on those stars maybe, because what we want to do is actually get Smithery before we open this war up. That way we are coming at them with swords and archers, a very potent force on the, at land. And uh, this fight's going to be a mix of land and sea fighting, so I want to be... Oh, well, prepared for it indeed. Okay, so they've broken the treaty first, which is fine, fine, fine. We have enough time to afford swords if we have to go that way. 18 and 25. So we go with either aquatism or swords. I think I might be able to dominate this naval conflict, though, early on, so I think swords is indeed where it's at. And we are definitely going to want some swords. Now, we can't just yet open up conflict. Um, this initial declaration is, uh, well, just that. 
just uh, the first salvo of this uh, conflict. Not necessarily anything uh, too dangerous, though, for me right now. Unfortunately, the fleet that I embarked over here is kind of stuck. There's not a lot I can do. This guy is definitely going to be hitting one of my two port cities shortly. Unfortunately, that gives Lux the first uh, attack. I can uh, prepare something on the front lines, but I cannot directly intervene. Ooh, that's extra upsetting for me. That is going to really sting. Uh, Sumro is also very vulnerable. Um, time for some riders, assuredly. Let's move that giant up inland. Okay, things are going to go crazy next turn. Let's see what happens. Yep, saw that one coming. Embassies destroyed. Yep, yep, yep. There goes uh, eight stars per turn for both of us. Double invasion. But the nice thing is they played their hands on that a little bit. So we will see if we can pull through, but I think we might be able to. Pity about that, but I really need to clear out that. Warrior. So I use my riders to finish the job here. I definitely don't want to have to waste too many stars on that. But I need to make sure I can get through with it. Um, better to get some vision. That's always useful. And kill that lousy cloak, although I'm about to be cloak bombed by several cloaks all the same. Unfortunate, but true, of course, they did get um, a defender up in Lulo, but I don't think it's going to make as much of a difference as they had hoped. And there we are. That is a good bit better for me. Gonna get what little damage we can in the old-fashioned way. The main thrust is of course going to be coming from my heavier units in this instance. My swordsman, my giant. Both of these uh, heavier hitting units are going to do quite a bit of damage for me. And that is without any doubt. All right, let us heal up over here, and we'll throw out another round of defenders where we can, just for a little bit of extra beef at sea. And I think, honestly, we could use another meat shield, even if that is a warrior at this moment. Oh, there we go. They have hit me in Dork. Not surprised that that's where they went for, because you know that was the uh, the closest village for it. Um, and I figure you were perfectly in range. And a little bit of extra damage in before your uh, toast completely. Uh, 
Ah, uh, yeah, some, uh, some big cloak bombs over here. We'll take what opportunity we can to weaken and destroy masses of them, one way or the other. Definitely more of a threat here in Okizi. And let's see, one sword here, and one sword here, and a uh, sword over here should clear up my cloakies. I think I'm going to hold on this side of the map for now, since I can't produce any more units. I don't want to leave myself too vulnerable. Oh, get some extra vision while I'm out here, though. If I can survive one extra turn, climb another mountain, and get another layer revealed. I want to see most of this map. I already do see a good bit after all. Ooh, that was a mistake, attacking a giant in close range with a giant in a boat. Uh, the AI has gotten better, but some things have not changed. Well, right now, a knight really would make all the difference in the world as far as just carving through this with, uh, really almost no effort, but... Alas, I don't have that. But I do have... a whole bunch of swords that are going to come into play in an increased manner. Sooner rather than later. Cool. And I just like seeing uh, dead giants. Makes me happy. Wasn't paying quite enough attention when I parked this guy here. I thought he was at uh, six, not nine health. Uh, bit of an oversight, but not the end of the world. Well, let's see, another sword out in Lulo would be nice. I'm gonna hold the line here. Not much to be gained by being aggressive. But potentially something if I uh, exercise a little bit more caution. Howsoever, I think a cloak would be nice. So I'm going to get that going. bad at all. Let's lock down the invasion of Exeuxo. Oh, I could have just gotten in with the Defender. That's, uh, again, not the end of the world here. That ought to be enough to lock down the front. So that is a lot less threats I have that way. I can definitely use a few more roads too. 
connect our disparate cities now that we have a few more of them. Thought I was lacking a road over here as well. There we are! A proper transportation network to enable some uh, really interesting and hopefully impactful strategy. All right, sorry. Just uh, so hyper-focused over here. <laughs> and let's build up our economy a little bit more. Take population growth. There we are. Hone on in for it. Get another level up. And hype up our customs house just a little bit further. And take care of that cloak a little better. We're going to just, again, keep holding the front here. Since there's not a whole bunch I can do. But Lux is most definitely breaking against my uh, sustained assault in the front line. Let's get ourselves some cloaks up. And that is the rest of our income for this turn. Ooh, level me out. Didn't quite. Didn't quite. No. And definitely appreciate the extra income. Stop me. Some gnarly little uh, boats very soon here. Hmm, if I go by land, I'll probably, like, I'm gonna have to leave them in the dinghy, but the dinghy is not the safest place to leave them. Unfortunate, but true. However, I can't afford to at least get another battleship up and make sure this giant never gets to be a threat. So that's good. That's for the win. And we can uh, make sure these swords are prepping up. Getting in tip-top fighting shape. through those front lines with them sharp sharp sword boys still okay let's push on to the next turn we'll sit on a little bit of income i think at this point the tide is in our favor and it would be great getting some knights out especially seeing the plethora of low health units oh, another cloak Ooh, i'm shaking in my boots at this point they're uh a bit outmatched at this point. However, my cloak is going to be quite a bit more impactful, I think. That's cleared up, and this giant's just going to go right on in. No fight left here. Honestly, might as well start embarking some of these swords. We do have a plethora of them at this point. 
Although some of them still have some dedicated duties elsewhere, to be fair, too. And let's get another cloak up. Diplomacy is the name of the game, after all. There we go. Oh, Emperor's Tomb. Lovely. I haven't been spending my money very much, after all, so... Uh, there is that, to be fair. But now we have Ponies. Ow, Xy. Will fall. Let me first get a road network laid down here. Very nice indeed. And there's the dinghy striking from sea. Fear into the hearts of my enemies. Lovely. Okay. Well. Let's next turn it. Lospo is not going to be able to put up much of a fight now. We've managed to completely surround our remaining Luxador city with that former opponent, our unfortunate Polytopian traitor. But uh, I won't hold it against Luxador. Uh, I guess all that fame just doesn't buy loyalty. Or uh, rather all that income, but... There we go. Wrapped that up nicely. So, a lot of fun stuff you can do with strategy. Uh, allies are nice. They can turn on you, though. And that's, well, that's what it looks like when they do break peace with you. Uh, embassies are great ways to show uh, territory and empires you've just met and haven't seen much of yet. At least around the capital. And a great way to generate income for yourself and for your new hopeful ally. And uh, those cloaks are just so impactful, and the daggers are just chef's kiss. Um, same stats as a warrior, indeed. Basically identical units, but they have this wonderful surprise ability where enemies want to retaliate when you attack them. And uh, it just makes them incredibly useful. You can spam them out, and they'll take down walled defenders or hit a giant in the field. It doesn't matter. They won't take any damage, and they'll be able to deal a whole wealth of it while they're at it. So, a lot of cool, fun stuff coming up in the new update, alongside, of course, the revamped uh, AI across the board. So, I do hope you're excited for it. Just uh, a little less than two weeks now. And, uh, well, until next time, Polytopians. Let's uh, get that score first. Ah, 1% short of the 95. I guess that's what I get for messing around and uh, playing with the cloaks a bit heavily, but uh, definitely worth it. Well, uh, until next time, see ya.